Okay, for today we're going to be talking about Bronsted Lowry acid bases. Uh, this is the content associated with lesson 4.8.3 in chemistry 30. And uh, okay, Bronsted Lowry theory. In chemistry, the Bronsted Lowry theory is an acid base reaction theory proposed independently by Johannes Nicolaus Bronsted and Thomas Martin Lowry in about 1923. In this system, an acid, or a Bronsted acid, is a molecule or ion that is able to lose or donate a proton. Okay, so a hydrogen cation or hydrogen ion, well a base is a species with the ability to gain or accept a proton. So it follows that if a proton is uh, to behave as an acid, donating a proton, there must be a base to accept the proton. So the Bronsted-Lowry concept can be defined by the reaction. Acid plus base, conjugate base. Um, hmm, hold on, this didn't go quite right. Acid. Plus the conjugate base plus the conjugate acid. I think there's supposed to be an arrow right here. The acid woo, plus base goes to a conjugate base plus a conjugate acid. There we go. So the conjugate base is the ion or molecule remaining after the acid has lost a proton. And the conjugate acid uh, is the species created when the base accepts the proton. So the reaction can proceed in either a forward or backward direction. In each case, the acid donates and the proton, uh, a proton to the base. So water is amphiphoteric and can act as the acid or a base. So in the reaction between acetic acid and water, uh, water acts as a base. Okay, so here we have um, acetic acid reacting with water. Now in this case, water accepts the proton, the hydrogen comes from the acetic acid to the water and it becomes a hydronium ion and uh, the base becomes, uh, you know, acetate ion. That is, well that becomes a conjugate base, so the conjugate acid would be hydronium ion and the conjugate base would be the acetic acid ion. So water can act as an acid. For an instance, when it reacts with ammonia, um, it will actually give up a proton. Okay. So in this reaction, it's going to uh, donate the proton to uh, the ammonia. The hydroxide ion will be the conjugate base of water. Um, acting as an acid and the ammonium ion is going to be the conjugate acid. Okay, And here's a, another picture where you have uh, say hydroiodic acid reacting with water. In this case uh, water is going to be acting as the base. Okay, It accepts the hydrogen ion then you have the conjugate acid here and the conjugate base. Okay. Now, within the Bronsted-Lowry acid base theory, a conjugate acid is the acid member, HX, of a pair of two compounds that transform into each other by the gain or loss of a proton, um, the hydrogen ion. A conjugate acid can also be seen as the chemical substance that releases or donates the proton in the forward chemical reaction, hence the term acid. The acid produced uh, is going to be the ion. X ion um, is going to be called the conjugate base and it absorbs or gains a proton in the backward chemical reaction. So in a generic sense HX plus H2O uh, will go to an ion X and hydronium ion. So here you can see the base, the acid, the conjugate acid of the base that takes the so this is the ammonium ion and uh, the conjugate base is hydroxide. Now strong acids would tend to have a weak conjugate base and vice versa. Okay, The stronger an acid, the weaker the conjugate. The same goes for bases. 
However, a weak acid or base will not necessarily have a strong conjugate base or acid, although that's quite common. Uh, there are a number of pair of weak conjugates. For example, acetic acid um, and acetate ion are both weak. Okay, But if you take your strongest acid, it will have a weak conjugate. Okay, And uh, quite often your very weak acids will have a strong conjugate. Okay, But not always. Okay, but as a rule, the generality, yes. So here's our summary. Uh, an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor in the, in the Bronsted-Lowry concept. An acid-base reaction involves a single proton transfer from an entity, the acid, to another, the base. An amphi Protic entity is one that acts as a bronsted lowry acid in some reactions and a bronsted lowry base in the other. Uh, an example would be water. A conjugate acid-base pair can consist of two entities with formulas that differ only by a proton or a hydrogen ion. A strong acid has a very weak attraction for protons. A strong base has a very strong attraction for protons. The weaker the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. Um, yeah. And the stronger the base, the weaker the conjugate acid. Okay, and that is the Bronsted-Lowry concept.